Hello everyone, here is Pekka Vadis, Omniverse Ambassador. Pedestrian Actions is a Revolution plugin for Motion Director. Uh, you can make people to walk in city or interiors. And for this project I bought also a whole lot of uh, characters from Actor Core. Uh, for example, these kids and uh, then different city workers, uh, police guys and, and, and construction workers for the cityscape we're gonna build here. Uh, and then also I bought some motions from ActorCore, like motions for construction, which is a pack made for these construction people, like drilling. And, and also uh, you can here easily change the uh, angle and lights when you browse through the motions in ActorCore website. Uh, and then I also bought the kits and friends. And then from uh, Revolution Content Store, a few assets. And Digital Soul 100 Plus is also used here. Uh, and then here we have the Brownstone City from NVIDIA, the excellent 20 gigabyte large city view. I exported only the street geometry. As you see here, I deleted everything which I don't need for the walking. Uh, direction work in iClone and I exported it as a FBX, imported it and then I also started to download different kind of motions from from, from Actor Core site. site. Uh, when you buy the motion it immediately appears, uh, I mean the character, uh, it immediately appears on uh, iClone. I can double click but double clicking it will drop it to the center of the scene so I I rather drag and drop them uh, to the correct position. First, I'm going to build here uh, just the idle movements, talking, playing people. For example, here I'm going to search by idle, uh, the motions, and I find one idle for this character. I just uh, uh, drop to the scene, and now I'm uh, selecting the uh, target character, which is the same guy here, the action core character, and I just download it. And again, here it pops up and tells me that do you want to download the purchased item? Well, of course, yes. And then by just double clicking it, when the character is active, it applies the motion to it. But I'm going to build a 2000 frame long uh, scene, so I have to duplicate the idle movement here. Uh, as you see, I first drag the lower part to open up the room for it, and then I duplicate the motion by just dragging the upper part. And then, you see, I build up all these people in the scene and the park, the streets, where they just uh, stay still or walk around just a little bit. Then I move to the pedestrian actions. So, uh, it's a motion director plugin or extension. Uh, so you have to purchase it, and uh, it works, uh, for example, here by uh, selecting MD Control Center, and then from the, I activate uh, and record and focus on the character here. Then I press uh, the icon to select the moving motion. I take walking with smartphone. Uh, and uh, you can blend these two. Uh, and then I'm going not to use gamepad or keyboard, I'm going to use mouse. So I unselect those. I have the first control icon selected. And then I press play and start to alt click on the floor, the street level. So this leads the character to walk to the spot I defined there. And this is a perfect way to uh, hustle around the streets. And, and not to bump with other people standing and talking there. So in this method, I animated all the other characters. You can also pause them, as you saw. And the other way is to use this uh, area, the zone tool. I pick the zone, which is a plane here, the blue one, uh, temporarily visible for you to see. And then I just uh, set up these two guys walking in this area. So they stay roughly inside the area. And the beauty here is you can select different kind of idle motion ratios. I went on with the defaults. And then again, I also used Acolypse here, which is a create script Acolypse 
activated uh, feature in iCloud 8. I dropped the WAV file there and then I pasted the same text as a text and Acolypse then aligns them automatically and, and characters talk this way. So I used this just for the kid who is a <clears throat> talking character at the end of the, uh, the shot uh, of the city scene here. And then the Digital Soul Plus extensions are just tracked to certain characters here so they can have facial expressions like here the boy is smiling. And uh, as you see here is the same thing I have to scale or duplicate the facial expression to fulfill the uh, seconds the character is visible. I had in mind already at the beginning the the direction of this mo movement, which I'm going to make in uh, Omniverse. I'm here exporting this as real time uh, to Omniverse uh, to work the camera movements and drop props there. And here we are in Omniverse Machinima. Uh, you see, this is the scene exported from iCloud. So we have the street geometry there too. I don't need it. I just delete it. And, and you can see here they <laughs> roll around like ants. And I, I also delete all the lights. So I have only the walking, acting people there. Everything else, the street geometry is deleted because it keeps the positions and size perfectly same, exporting. So then I import this USD to the main brownstone scene just by updating the link to the latest version of the USD. I just cleaned there. Yeah, and here we have it. The, the new updated version came and uh, I animated my cameras in Machinima and then I dropped some props there. So uh, you can download free props with Omniverse uh, Asset Store and, and, and uh, dropping them to the scene is like a kid's play. It's really easy. Sometimes the sale scale is too high as, he, as seen here. I just scale it down by using the scale hotkey. And uh, then uh, very fastly and very intuitively, I just drop them around the city. For example, here in the opening shot, the workers are making some floor work. As you see, the camera flies by. Okay, I need something more. It looks a bit empty. Still, this is too low on the on the ground. I raise it a bit. And then I drop stones there with the zero gravity tool. Uh, so this is very cool. You just activate it and press play. They will drop down. Whoa. And uh, this way I, I managed to make them uh, believable uh, construction workers for the opening scene. And then I also drop this spirit level tool for them. And uh, this was uh, very, very fast and fun to do. As you see, the camera flies by them. And then we have the rest, like cars coming in. And in, in the cars, I had uh, actor core characters driving. Uh, uh, they were in the still motion, no animation needed for those. So here you see the real time uh, scene. It can be rendered out uh, very fastly in 4K too. And I also had some animated photo there. So here we have the final results. Enjoy.